<laughs> yeah, we're usually here. Do, do you have any sort of aspirations of doing a full range of Green Arrow or Black Canary? Oh, I, I, you know, <laughs> kill to do that. I'm trying to think who I'd kill. <laughs> who would? Who could I kill that it would help? Um, but no, yeah, I, uh, you know, I, I love a lot of characters. I, you know. DC characters, Marvel characters. When I was a kid, I didn't even realize there were two separate companies and that they didn't mix. Um, you know, I, I'd see Batman team with Superman in one comic. I'd see Captain America and Spider-Man in another comic. And it didn't occur to me that next week I might not see Captain America and Batman in a comic together. It took me at least a couple of years to figure out that, that when I was buying comics, some were from one company and some were from another. So I have a tremendous affection for both Marvel and DC characters. But the truth is, if I had to pick one single character that I love above all the others, it would be Black Canary. With Green Arrow pretty close behind. So, um, you know, obviously I've got a great affinity for Captain Adam, and I love Red Tornado, and I, I would you know, I love a, a, just a ton of DC characters, actually. You know, I, I grew up with these guys, and, and um, there are a bunch of them that I'd love to do. I'd love to, do, frankly, do any DVD movie they'd let me do, frankly. But, uh, but yeah, to have the chance to do a Black Canary and Green Arrow one, uh, I'd kill for that. Now, are you involved with the, the next series of shorts? Uh, not so far. I... I since I don't know about them, you seem to know more about them than I do. I didn't know there was a next series of shorts. Um, but, uh, you know, again, I'd be happy to do one. I'm relatively busy now on uh, um, Young Justice, but I am writing one more Brave and the Bold. Um, I've written two, and I'm writing, working on my third one. Um, and, again, I don't think I can talk about it yet. But um, it was one where... Uh, Michael Jelinek called me up and said, hey, we're going to do Batman and blank. Um, how busy are you? And I'm like, I'm really busy, but... I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I have to do this. So it, it was a, it's a... Let's just say it's a character I'm fairly well associated with. So, uh, so, uh, we're, I'm in the middle of writing the script right now, actually. I sort of took a break to come to Comic Con, but starting Monday, I'm, I'll be behind schedule. I'm going to have to jump. It's <laughs> not a bad reason to be behind schedule. Um, do you know anything about uh, the cast for, or the director for your Green Arrow short? Uh, yeah, I, I, the director was Jamie Thomason. Okay. Who, uh, okay. Voice director was Jamie Thomason. Voice director was Jamie Thomason, yeah. Um, and... Uh, he was uh, my voice director on Gargoyles, on uh, Spider-Man, and he's the voice director on Young Justice. Um, so that was fun. It was like, you know, old home week. And um, and I was there for the initial voice recording with Neil McDonough, played Green Arrow, and Gray Delisle played Black Canary. Um, we had uh, Malcolm McDowell um, and Steve Bloom and Ariel Winter. I don't know if I'm allowed to say what they played, but they were in it, and they did great. And so, you know, we had a really... Um, cool uh, uh, session there. You know, and it's relatively short because, you know, it's a short piece. I'm used to, like, these three-hour, <laughs> you know, three-and-a-half-hour sessions, and, and, you know, this was like an hour and a half, and we're like, we're done? Like, you know, and I'm like, okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, it was great. Great fun. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.